and Highland Avenue. Tanya TKO, and right now I'm at the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Highland Avenue, and I'm about to take you guys on a tour of the Walk of Fame. These are the stars that are on the sidewalk right now. I have a musician behind me doing his thing. I got the tour people behind me on this side. I got the people standing on the corner who think I'm crazy <laughs> and they've turned from my camera. So listen, let's get pop in with this walk-in tour. Let's do this. <laughs> you, you heard that horrible me, I asked that walk-in tour. <laughs> okay, so listen, real quick, these are the stars on the street of the Hollywood Boulevard. There's some guy on the side trying to get onto the camera. It's like, you know what, in Hollywood, one thing that I noticed is that a lot of the people are desperately doing anything to get their 15 minutes of fame, even if it comes one second at a time. Wow, look at the size of this pizza. I've never seen a pizza that big before. <laughs> I don't normally turn my camera on others, but hmm, that was, look, here's Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I'm sorry, goodness. I guess she wasn't playing that. So here, there's Marilyn Monroe, the wax figure. Let me just, real quick. There she is. I would get in the picture, but you know, I just can't do all of that. So anyway, listen. Here's a person hustling his CDs. It's like not gangster. Cincinnati 513. Every time they see me, all music aside, what do you know me for? I don't know. Hustling. Oh, hustling. Oh, hustling. Oh, the, oh, that's the paper right there. These ain't dollars either. You see oh, what I'm saying? This this is, oh, wait. These are five. Oh, so God clean. God is good. God is good. I want you to take it home, Miss, before it gets a couple of bucks. Okay. Where y'all from? I'm not with them, but I'm oh, walking. God bless you. Peter yes. Parker 513. Okay. Hello. Why don't you like, give us a sample of what's on, the, what's on the album? Go ahead. Give us a sample. So maybe I'm a genius or the smartest rapper that you ever heard. His mind is stuck on stupid. It's glued to the curb. They hypocrites and never had to pull the gun from a part of their shirt. I hate this shit, it's the worst. Okay, you're using selling... profanity. Okay, thank you so much for that God sample. God God bless. Bless. Oh, God Lord, bless. the name of the Lord and profanity the Lord. in the same sentence? All right, see you later. <laughs> so yeah, so he was doing his little sample. What you guys thought of that? I don't know. Personally, I heard one album yesterday from somebody and it was actually pretty good. It was pretty good. Right here is, um, I'm not sure what this mall is called, but I was here before and at the, oh wait, I think that, is that Obama? Is it Obama or Sammy Davis Jr.? Thank you. Are you Obama or Sammy Davis? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Obama. You're Obama? And I get away with the grace. Okay, Obama has blonde hair in the back. Okay, bye Obama. I guess everybody's in on it. I guess this is the first time I have ever seen a Caucasian person pretending to be, I don't know, black, but without all the, I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. Here we go. So this right here is a really beautiful mall of which I do not know the name of. Oh, you know what? I just saw a sign that said Dolby Theater. Oh, look at this. Look upon this, look upon this. Yeah, you know what, look. It's like some sort of Egyptian, wow, look at this. An elephant of some sort and some, can you see that? Is that Egyptian, what is that? I really don't know, but it's interesting. It's interesting. But you know what, I don't have all the time in the world. Oh look, El Capitan. I saw Mickey back there, but I didn't get a chance to put the camera on him because we were talking to the rapper. And then so this is Disney Soda Fountain. Let me make sure I don't fall while I'm walking out here. I'm sorry, but did you guys know if that was Obama or Sammy Davis? I really didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, maybe I should know because I don't know. But anyway, so listen. Um, <clears throat> this is the Dolby Theater. Dolby. And then it looks like the Hard Rock Cafe is, oh, there's just so many different directions to go. All these tour buses with these huge pictures on them. 
This is almost like Times Square a little bit. We got Darth Vader over here. Luke, I am your father. And this is Hi Captain Jack. Oh my goodness! It's fish. The, the big fish. Guy! He was the scary. Okay. He was the scariest character in that movie. This is the Dolby Theater. I have no idea. It looks like they have shopping. I see some shopping stores in there. I thought who knew the Dolby Theater wasn't built really a theater? Who knew? So anyway. There's Minnie Mouse. Another person selling their CD. Can you give me a sample of what it is that you do? Uh, this is my album. It's called Swag Nation. Everybody loves it. Let's hear a I sample. Want you to go to iTunes and check it out. I don't know who you are, so uh, okay. Well, to check me out. don't give me a okay. sample then. That was your shot, brother. <laughs> so here we go. Here is. Somebody who has some claw hands, and then there's then Zoro has his rose for everybody. Okay, and somebody has a wreath, like a funeral wreath. Did the doors? Did someone from the doors die? I have no idea. I don't know. You tell me. And then we have Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have one of the stormtroopers from Star Trek or wherever, I have no idea. Another person with their album. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of album people out here. Okay, here's the Chinese theater. So, let's see. I guess it doesn't help that I'm so short. Look, it's an angry bird. And he's so short, look. Look at the person behind me in the angry bird outfit. They're like so short. <laughs> Hi, angry bird. Wow, he shrunk down to the... Oh my God, he's chasing me. What in the world is this? It's so crazy. <laughs> This is craziness. Okay, so here we go. All right, this right here is the Kodak Theater, or the Chi is this the Chinese Theater or the Kodak Theater? I don't know. But these are the footprints that are on the ground. The Michael Jackson one is over here somewhere. But these are where all of the. It's too. This is how they have them all on the ground. When we were here before, they had like a, a waiting list and you had to like, and they showed you where Michael's was and his feet and they were, they were really tiny, as a matter of fact. I'm looking now, let's see. Here's Donald Duck. I'm looking, has anybody seen Michael Jackson's? Oh. But they're here. We saw them before, and then oh, here it is. This is Michael Jackson's right here, and it has like the hands of his children. And so it says Michael Jackson, and then there's the Twilight crew. And you see Michael Jackson's foot is, I say, maybe about the same size as mine. Okay. And then what else? There was one. I don't remember. It was like. I saw when we were out here, look at Will Smith. This is Will Smith. See his hand and his foot? Look at the size of Will Smith's foot. Can you see that? I don't know. Cause see this. We have harsh shadows right now. So, um, <clears throat> there's like so many on here. Julie Andrews. And some people have written stuff. You know, in the um, in the last video, you know, I talked about I talked about your unique gifts and what it is that you bring to the world, etc. Look at this. I don't know who this is, but their foot is tiny. Yeah. So many people over here. In the last video, look at this stuff. Uh, the objectification of women. Yeah. In the last video, I talked about your unique gifts as a human being and what it is that you bring to the table and how you 
have no I, 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 the word competition keeps coming to mind but it's not not competition you have you need no instruction when it comes to being you you just have to tap into who it is that you really are you know um so oh look madam Tussauds I wonder which wax figure they have out in the front let's see is that Johnny Depp we'll see when we get up close so anyway if we think about the you know if we think about the stars because you know I was just thinking about that when I was looking at the um at the footprints and the handprints and all of that if you think about if you think about the stars who you it's really bright out here if you think about the stars who you really really love and you think about the people who give their talents who really stand out it's not people who sound like everybody else who's doing things like everybody else if you think about oh wow look at the incredible hulk and spider-man so you know you can actually come out here with a costume and make money you know just doing your thing look there's Johnny Depp I want to say and he looks just like him too looks just like him I want to say make them in the exact size and likeness his skin looks amazing too and if you look up close let's look doesn't he look amazing? Let me just, uh, just real quick. So, Mr. Depp, <laughs> Mr. Depp, can you can you tell us a little bit about Mr. Depp? It's like you can see the, you can see like the, the um, you can see like the different, like the. It's just, I don't know. It's just, um, I find it to be amazing. I think it's really, I think it's interesting when you know I start, when I walk up places and people start taking my camera from me. It's very interesting, very interesting. Then we have the, the Black Batman. Oh, he says the real dark night. I hear that, brother. So, okay, so let's see. It's gotten a lot quieter since we left that area, but yeah in the last video I was talking about you know just being yourself etc And when we start thinking about the people that we love the most You know the people who give their talents They're not the people who are like everybody else who sound like everybody else You know their voice is different their style is different what they try they dance to a beat of their own drum Because if they were like everybody else they would be like everybody else You know so ah! This craziness on the street. So anyway, let's let's get through this crowd. Let's get through. Let's get through. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. People are tripping everywhere. All right. I need to get into. I might have to just end this video. They have like all of these shops where they sell like these T-shirts and stuff where you can get all types of souvenirs. I'm not sure which version of Spider-Man that is, but he was brown. Maybe that's Spider-Man from Bizarro World. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so listen. When we think about the people who stand out the most, the people who have the biggest impact in our lives in terms of who we love and, and you know, and covet, those are all people who did their own thing. You know, whose voices were different, whose styles were different, who did things in their own way. So it's like, why would you want to fit yourself into the mold of what other people think or feel that you should be? When you can when you can be yourself, you know? Hi! You guys don't remember me? From this? <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so you know, just, if I could say anything, it's gotten so quiet, I could just sit down on some stairs over here. You know, let me just take a, a quick segue off of the street and just talk real low and just end off the video, you know? Oh wow, poor girl on crutches. So listen, if I could, if I could, if I could impress upon you. Oh wow, look at this. It's real. No, it's not. Is it? I don't even know if it's real or not. I think it is real. I think it is. Okay. So there we go. And this is, we've come upon the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that very brief tour. It's just, it was pandemonium out there. We're in some sort of shopping mall right now. If I could just impress one thing upon you, it would just be to be yourself. Oh, you know what I wanted to talk about in this video, which I totally forgot because everything was so crazy out there. I wanted to talk about, um, 
you know, the worshiping that we do of other people. But you know what, I'll maybe save that until when I get back to New York, because I have two videos to upload today. And so I have to actually get back to the hostel because um, I'm gonna be going, to, I'm doing a Universal, Universal Studios tour today. But um, I don't know, it just, you know, it breaks, it breaks my heart, you know, people who constantly go through life feeling that they're not worthy, et cetera, feeling like other people got the keys to stuff that they just don't have. And, and then I also wanted to talk about self-forgiveness, but that's just such a prickly topic. You know, I feel like I need to do just a whole video about that with no distractions from all of the walking and all of the other stuff. Maybe I might do another video before I leave, you know. We'll see what happens, but let me go and upload this video now. Listen, Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Follow me on Facebook. Let me just keep walking now. Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show. Twitter.com forward slash Tanya TKO. And I'm on Instagram, Pinterest at, at Tanya TKO, and that's Tanya with an O, T-O-N-Y-A. And um, why is this checker cab blue? Blue and yellow. Yeah, I guess I know. I've never seen a blue cab before. Well, not especially not in New York. You know, I guess in New York. I wonder if it's just like. I mean, the whole the whole industry is on lock in New York because all of the cabs are yellow. I've never seen a blue cab, a red cab, purple cab. Never seen any of those. Like there was a red, white, and blue cab. Never seen that. It's very interesting, and it just—I don't know—it just doesn't add for much diversity in New York. But then you know, the yellow, the backdrop of yellow cabs, you know, cruising the street, is a part of New York. You know, so anyway, so I think I was giving my greeting out of here, and so we're, I'm about to walk back through the craziness to head back to where I'm going. I'm doing a Universal Studios tour today, and it's supposed to be really nice. They're supposed to have rides and all this other stuff. And I'm kind of running behind schedule because um, <clears throat> I came out to do the, the video. The first video was 40 minutes. This one is 17. So I've been out here for 57 minutes, you know? What can I say? I felt that it was important. And the, um, you know what, I could get to the other side of the street. One thing I like about the streets here is that in the direction that you're supposed to cross in, it's green. And so you never, you never confuse as to whether or not you should walk or shouldn't walk. And so, oh look, the Roosevelt Hotel. This is beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Oh gracious. So anyway, I should probably stop this video and then start another one just on the way back. Because it's just so... It's just so much, I don't know, it's just like a little bit, you know what, I guess we get to, you know what, I'll finish at, the, at Highland because on this side of the street you get to see so much more, not being so close to it. So across the street over there, they ha this is the Chinese theater that we passed by. I wonder if the Chinese theater and the Kodak theater are the same thing. I wonder. And then we have like some fancy restaurant right here. I guess it's not supposed to be fancy, it's a coffee bean place. But look. Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Just like seemingly ordinary people on the road, or on the street rather. You see that person? Just sitting down there. It's like you never really know out here. Everybody that you see, no matter how well and clean their dress. This is, what, the Kodak Theater? And then this is the Chinese Theater. And then, we have the Hard Rock Cafe. And then the Dolby Theater right next to it. And of course, on this side of the street, we also have the, um, and I'll tell you just a little bit. If you see, you see where it says Bobby Vinton and you see that circular record right there? And you see Diane Shore with the TV, Charles Fry, Ann Miller, and Ann Miller has the film thing. And then here we have a person, Philip Lord, It has like the old time microphone. 
Uh huh. Tom Cruise. I'm gonna take a tour of Hot Fries. I see. What? Oh, he doesn't like the cam being on him. And then we have Snow wait, Snow White. Wait a wait a minute now. Snow White. <laughs> Snow White. Okay. No comment. So then we have. We just have you know I guess so you know the different the different stars who are whatever their their genre or their field was they add a little brass piece down there to let you know what it was that they did whether they were a singer a recording artist television star or a film star I guess those are the four categories oh I forgot we're passing by the Dolby Theater right now and then this is that huge mall that we passed by with the elephant and the Egyptian stuff. And so this was the thing that was across the street, right here, that theater. Here we have a very skinny Spider-Man and some stormtroopers. More objectification of women on the sides of buses. And then that's the, uh, the thing we passed by with the, um, you see that with the Egyptian sort of thing? And you see the elephant? I can't really see it good from here, but. Yeah, and then so there's the Disney Fountain Store, and if you remember, this was the theater that we, and I guess it's a real theater. Oh, I guess this is a restaurant. For some reason I thought that, I didn't know what that was, but it's a restaurant. The Disney Soda Fountain Store is a restaurant. All right, and so it's not as... It's not as electronic as Times Square, but you know, they still do their own thing. And I would personally, I would love to be able to get like some outfit together and come out here. And like if I could be a star or a fake star out here on the road taking pictures with people, who would I be? Is I don't think there's anybody who really looks like me in Hollywood or whom I look like. Maybe I could just wear like a full costume like this dude is here as Darth Vader. You know what? I'm really glad you're holding up that money. I want to ask you a quick question. I want to come out here. I want to come out here and do the same thing. Do you guys make good money doing this? Stop following me before I break the camera. Huh? Stop following me before I break the camera. Are you serious? You think I'm following you? I guess Darth Vader was not interested in answering any questions. He said he was going to break my camera. I guess this is a part of being in LA. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You can't let people like that bother you because you know what? Whatever they're going through is a reflection of what's happening inside them. So anyway, I am though curious whether or not the people out there doing this sort of thing make good money. Because you can probably come out and do it too. But then it makes me wonder, if they are making good money, why be so angry? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Why be so angry? If anything, be happy. So look, this is one other interesting thing that I see. McDonald's with a tilted M. And then the Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium with a, I don't know, some sort of clock or something. And then we saw this a little earlier, Beyonce in her panties on, I don't know what in the world, Beyonce in her panties on top of a billboard for all of the little boys and girls to see, to think that it's, I guess, normal and okay to be out there in your panties. Who knows? Who knows? You know, I just, you know what, I think that if the, if the prevalence of you know, of women being put in these sexually objectified roles. If it just wasn't so rampant, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be an issue. You know what I mean? But it just seems like there's so many and it seems like that's the norm and the standard in terms of, you know, what it is that a woman has to do to gain fame and notoriety or to gain recognition, etc. And then we have another wax museum over here. Snow White Cafe, I guess that's the same star. And then there's the McDonald's with the M tilted, which is something that I've never seen outside of Hollywood. Excuse me, excuse me. So then that is, I would 
say that that is that, but you know what? It's like the street just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. And it's just so much to see and so much to do out here. So I don't know, you know what, but once you've seen it once, you know, you kind of seen it. Oh look, this is Ripley's. And this is, I wonder if this is wet. Oh, it is wet. It looks so shiny. This is the Guinness World. And this is, I guess that, if this is an accurate representation of the world's tallest man, this is how, yeah, I mean, that I'm like four feet tall. <laughs> so anyway, so what else? I don't know. That's pretty much it. I don't see any more of the, um, it looks like the people who dress up in those outfits dress up pretty close to, um, <gasps> to the Kodak Theater. Look at what I've just seen. Look at this. The infamous Fredericks of Hollywood. And I wonder, I honestly wonder if this is the flagship store. Do you think anyone would know? I'll just say it's safe to assume that perhaps it is. I mean, this is Hollywood. How big is Hollywood? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. How big is Hollywood for there to have been, you know, multiple uh, Fredericks of Hollywoods? I would go inside, but then, you know, I think that, you know, and then I would say this. I think, in, I think the, the culture of cameras and filming is a little bit different in New York. I think that, you know, like if it was New York, it would be, you know, people, I don't know, like people seem a little funny, like the people who are, who are like, I don't want to say stationed here, like they're in the army, but people who are here, here, seem to have some sort of issues with like cameras and, you know, paparazzi and stuff. And so, but... It just, I don't know, New, I don't know, it just, it's, it's different in New York, you know, because the people really do get stalked out here. But I'm sure nobody's really stalking Darth Vader. I'm sure no, nobody is. I mean, nobody really knows who, who this person is. You know what I mean? So anyway, listen. What is this? Pig and Whistle Restaurant. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. All right, here we go. I just want to get to a place where I can stop the, stop the filming. So, all right. Oh, I think this is, whew, most of the people are gone. So yeah, so if I were to say anything, if you can, listen, if you need to make some extra money in LA, get yourself a full-fledged outfit together. Look at this. Grooman's Egyptian Theater. 90th anniversary. Oh wow, look at these. These are palm trees. I didn't even realize that. I thought they were like columns. I wonder how they got those palm trees there. Like just standing up there in the middle of the sidewalk. Oh look, Pharrell is having a party. Oh no, he performed live at Caesars. That was two days ago. Oh well. But anyway, listen. So that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Hollywood. As you see along the streets, they still have, they keep this up all the way down to Vine. So they do this on down to, from, they do, I don't know how far down they do it, but I know it ends at Vine and then it goes down the street at Vine. So anyway, listen, I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you stay up with me on Facebook and all over the internet. And I am, I hope you enjoyed the tour. They have different shops along the way that do more than just souvenirs. After a while, they start selling like regular clothing. Hi! <laughs> yeah, you know what? I guess it's just, I don't know. You know what, and this is just, you see how it's so weird. Let's talk about this for a quick second before I log off, right? Like, you know, you see how I said that? People here seem to have an a interesting relationship with the camera, right? But is it really people here or is it just people in general? Because like I was saying, the relationship that we have with other people is really the relationship that we're having with ourselves. And you know, they're going to, no matter where you are, happy people are going to be happy. 
And um, unhappy people are going to be unhappy. What in the world? What is this? Oh, uh, they do tattoos. Okay. Oh, this is the place I put on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end my video down there. Because, oh, my battery's about to die anyway. But um, yes, I have to end it here. Remember this thing, this is what I posted on Facebook. Now I was like, this thing says Geisha House on it. Like that's what the, the sign says. It says Geisha House or Geisha House, however you wanna pronounce it. And it has like a woman eating some stuff on the door. And I was like, I was looking for some Japanese food one day. And I was like, you know what? I don't really think that they're selling food there. So there was just something about it that just didn't look like they were selling food. And people were like, oh, how could you judge it like that? And I'm like, you know what? You just basically have to go by the feeling that you feel on the inside. Like your instincts. There was something about my instincts that was like, these people are not selling food. Number one, there's no menu. And then look, there's no windows. Everything is all boarded up. So it's like, okay, they got a picture of a woman putting something in her mouth on the front door, no menu, and everything is closed off so you can't see what's happening inside there. <laughs> so what do you think that is about? So anyway, so yeah. So, I'm gonna end the video in talking about, you know, like the difference between some people who are like really aggressively trying to get on camera, and then like that one person who was like, oh, he's gonna break my camera. You know, and it's like, do I take that personally? You know, do I? The people who want to get on camera want to get on camera for whatever reasons it is that is exists inside them. And then you know the other people who don't want to get on camera don't want to get on camera for whatever reason it is that exists within them. You know, so it's really, it's really relationship. It's really individual. It's really personalized to that person. You know, how we relate to one another is a reflection of all types of things that are going on inside of us, have been going on inside of us, or, or what we think is going to be going on inside of us. So, hey, don't take it personally, you know. I must admit, you know, it's a little frightening with some six foot five person saying that he's gonna break my camera, but, you know, at the end of the day, listen, I don't know how to, I, I don't know, you know, for some reason, I don't, I know, I know it's not me. I don't know how else to put it. I know it's, I know it's not me. You know, I know it's, you know. Ugh. Oh, wow. They got their little dance outfits and stuff. Yeah, you know what? I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how to put it. You know, it's like, some people could say, Wow, these got these people saying F you, you effing bum. This guy is like screaming at this man right there. Let's keep, let's keep going. Craziness. So you see, so like, did that man screaming F you, you effing bum, did that have to do with the bum or did that have to do with something that was going on inside him? How he feels about himself, how he relates to the world, what he thinks about his life and what he thinks about other people. So you know, some people could say, oh, you know, it was you because you were walking up behind him or you had your camera on him or whatever, right? But when people, how people handle a situation, how they decide to speak to other people, how they choose to, that's a reflection of them. You know, whether or not people choose to respond with violence. You know, a simple don't film me would suffice. You know, touching my camera, putting his hand, I thought he was trying to show us the money. I, I understand, and that's a reflection of me and my naivete. You know, but it's like, my camera's gonna cut off at any moment, but it's like, you know, we're, it's like we have to understand that, you know, people who threaten violence, people who do this, people who do that, you know, we could say, oh, I made them do that. No. I mean, there's, listen, there's, ba there's barely anything that anybody can do on the streets that could make me throw my fists on them or make me harm them because that's me and that's the relationship that I have with myself and the world and what it is that I think I'm doing in this world, you know? So you could be like, oh, 
he hit me because I was doing such and such. No, this person hit you because of what was going on inside them, their standards, their lack of self-love, their lack of love for the world, their own anger, their own issues, etc. So I'm gonna end the video on that note. I don't know how I got off into that tangent. Look at this, I love this. Looks like something in Miami or Cuba or something. You know, so listen, I'm gonna end the video on that note, but I hope that you guys, I hope I impress upon you. I ain't getting to the sun. Oh look, there's a blank star. Listen, so listen, they're waiting for you to put your name right there and put what it is that you do out there. You know, express your own unique talents and gifts. But I hope you understand exactly what I'm saying. If I could punctuate the point even more, I want you to know that what people think, how they treat you, what they do, is really a reflection of them. Like, what would you, what would, what would a homeless person need to do for you to scream across the street, "F you, you effing bum"? What would they need to do? Nothing, because you wouldn't do that. What would somebody need to do for you to be like, "Oh, I'm gonna break this, that, and the other"? What is it that you know, something that sparks a person to violence? You know, the little things that that spark a person to curse somebody out or spark them into violence or whatever. You know, we, we each are so different, so different things are, you know, different stimuli spark us in different ways, but all of that is all an interpretation of things that are going on on the inside. So, on one last note of plagiarism, we're gonna talk about CDS Pharmacy, not CDS. <laughs> Not CBS, CDS. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyway, listen, I love you guys very much. Oh wow, look at this person with a clown face. Look at this. Let's see. I want clown face and a dress. Did you see that? <laughs> Would you? I guess Hollywood is the place to do it at if you do it. So anyway, listen, let me, let me get on out of here.